All right, well, there's a new report out that may make you think twice before going under the knife. According to the Federal Drug Administration, breast implants in some cases may be linked to a very rare type of cancer. So we brought in Dr. Anthony Dean to speak to us about this. He's a well-known uh, plastic surgeon. Good to have you with us this morning, doctor. You know, Thanks, Mark. Obviously, this is going to cause a lot of women out there who have breast implants. Apparently, there's uh, five to ten million women in this country have them. Should they, you know what, let's back up. First explain what kind of cancer this is and what you think of this study. Well, the study basically showed that worldwide they have 34 to 60 cases of ALCL. Uh, it's, another, it's another name for anaplastic large cell lymphoma. It's a very rare cancer of the immune system that has been found and they think may be connected to breast implants. Why do they think that? Well, in a small subset of patients who have this disease, it does appear that the capsular uh, tissue, which is the scar tissue around the implant, may hold some of that, that cancer in it. So once again, they found 34 patients who have breast implants with this. All right, so t should people be, you know, how concerned should women be about this? And, you know, in terms of, is there particular products? I know there have been a couple of names put out there of, of you know, that aligned with the, these findings of cancer, of different drug companies yeah. who make these, you know, how, how much credence do you put in that? Well, this is something that I would put in to understand that this may be an issue, but don't, don't be afraid. This is a very, very rare type of cancer. It's only been found in a small group of patients, literally 35 women out of 10 million. I mean, you're actually more likely to be hit by lightning than to develop this condition. But they are actually developing now a registry where people who may have this type of thing um, can get into a database so we can study it more. So in this case, in the cases where they found this cancer in women who had the breast implants, was it a different form of it? You know, you say it was in the scar tissue that was right around the implant. Uh, you know, so is there reason to believe that, that, it was, that it was aggravated by this implant? Because I know in many cases this kind of cancer is more systemic all throughout the body. And in these cases, as I understand exactly. it, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, it actually was surfacing in the scar tissue surrounding the breast implant, which raises some concerns. Exactly. Now, this is not breast cancer, so this is not the cancer that one in nine women, unfortunately, through their lifetime can get. Mm -hmm. But this is a different type of cancer that, just like you said, that was found in the scar tissue around it. Uh, I heard about this actually a year ago, some initial reports they thought maybe might have to do with some of the processing of the texturing of the shell of a breast implant. In the end, right now, the details are still a little bit sketchy. What I'm telling my patients really three things. Number one, do not panic. This is not a reason to rush to get your implants removed but it's something for you to, to know about. Right. Number two, undergo your normal mammograms, see your doctor, for you know, do your breast self exam, see your doctor and follow up. And number three, if you have symptoms of unusual swelling, unusual pain, and you have breast implants, then go see a board certified plastic surgeon. If you don't have one, go to plasticsurgery.org to find one. All right, that sounds like good advice uh, to stay on top of it. Thank you very much, Dr. Yoon. Good to talk to you today. Thanks, Martha. Thank you. And coming up, a new immigration fight is battling now.